hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is lucy and i upload videos every monday wednesdays and fridays if you are interested in seeing how i got this pretty ombre color then go ahead and keep watching what you see me doing now is applying my primer two times to the natural nail bed and going in with my clear acrylic and laying that laying an even layer down on that exposed nail bed anytime you are using um, pigmented acrylic or pigmented powders you do want to protect that natural nail bed with laying down that clear once i have apply the clear acrylic on all 10 fingers i'm going to go in with my first ombre color which is going to be a really pretty neon pink um, acrylic i do not recommend using this acrylic it is super marble and it's i don't like how it's set it's a, the the capuco capico but it could just be because i'm using it wrong it's a it's a acrylic and dip powder believe that it's uh the packaging says that it's strictly a dip powder but i am not using it in, in the dip technique i'm using monomer with it which could be the reason why it marbles so much but um i know how to work with it i made it do what it do so i'm laying it down first then i'm going to go in with my yellow acrylic and um, ombre that down onto the pink If you have experience experience marbling with your acrylic, just go ahead and keep applying it as many times as you need to to get it to blend and, and look right before you move on. This next color that I'm coming in with is uh, from the brand Chizu. I get asked a lot um, on what acrylics I recommend um, to be used. As a beginner, I would recommend me a secret. Now, for as far as colored acrylic, my favorite right now is the Chisel brand. They don't have a wide variety of colors, but the ones that I have um, are very good. I actually love them, especially the Ombre collection. They're so smooth, they transition well, and they're easy to work with. So um, if you have your license or your student license and you're able to go into your local nail supply store i do recommend um, your colored acrylic being chisel it's my favorite Once all of the, the second color of ombre has been applied, we're gonna go in with our new color to tie everything together. Um, I'm going in with the Not Polished Natural Fiesta Fiesta. Um, like I mentioned in my last video, this is my go-to new color for any of my ombres. stated before that I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, if you guys do keep up with my channel, I have been missing in action for the last two weeks. Um, things became overwhelming, so I don't know. I think I'm going to keep going with the Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but I may end up changing it to Sundays based off my analytics. That's when people are really watching my videos. So comment down below when you guys actually are on youtube to actually see content um but based off the analytics like i said sunday that's when my channel is the most active um so i'm thinking maybe sundays and tuesdays uh sundays and wednesdays i'm not really sure you guys will know soon though so if you're not go ahead and hit that subscribe button that way you are uh in the loop and you know when i'll be uploading 
Um, so back to the nails. When I'm finished with this, I'm gonna go ahead and cap my ombre with clear on all 10 fingers, and then we're gonna go in, gonna go in file. Bring the shape back to the nail and use the electric file to smooth out the top of the nail. Whenever I file, I do have my e-file at about 9,000 to 10,000 RPM. Um, I feel like this is the best speed um, that I've come accustomed with. So I use this whenever I am uh, doing that last e-file. Now whenever I am prepping the natural nail, I do have it at about 4,000 RPMs. Um, never at five or 6,000 RPMs. It's just too fast for me.
this concludes this video if you made it to the end thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell that way you are notified when i upload next Show me how to dare to love